The following tutorial is a sample video from a full course. To watch the entire course and many others, please visit digitaltutors.com to find hundreds of other free videos or sign up for a subscription and experience our entire library. In this lesson, we're going to learn what is Nuke, as well as when in the pipeline do we use Nuke and how do we open up Nuke scripts. Now, I've just opened up Nuke here, and for the beginning of this lesson, I'm just going to be running through a couple examples of using Nuke, and we're not going to be including this project file. So later on in the lesson, we'll jump in and begin using Nuke, but feel free to just sit back and follow along for the beginning of this lesson. Now when we say what is Nuke, we can answer with Nuke is a node-based compositor. Now a couple of those words might be new to you, so don't worry if you run into any terms or words that you don't recognize immediately. Uh, we'll be going through the examples and learn what these terms mean throughout this course. So now let's take a look at what compositing is, or the second part of Nuke is a node-based compositor. Compositing is simply adding together images or modifying images. Here we have some footage taken in the real world, and here we use Nuke to heighten it, as well as add in a little bit of special effects in the eyes, as well as do some color correcting. Now we can also use Nuke to combine two images or two series of images from the real world. For example, here we have a nice background plate that we shot, which is just a photograph, as well as our footage of our leading actress, and using Nuke, we were able to composite them together so that it looks like she was shot on location when, in fact, she was shot inside of a studio. So this is one of the more powerful things that Nuke can do for us. It can help us take different elements and combine them together in a seamless world. And that is essentially what compositing is. It's combining elements together and making them look like they exist in the same space. Now there's a lot of different tools and techniques that we use to get to this point, and we'll be covering some of them in this course and many of them in future courses in our training library. Now let's also take a look at compositing 3D. So here we have again another background plate shot in the real world, and here we have the 3D composite where we took some elements from a 3D application such as Maya, 3ds Max, or Softimage and composited it or combined it with real world footage. Now you might have heard about Nuke's 3D capabilities and we do delve into that a little bit. In this example we took a still photograph and we took it into Nuke and Maya and created this 3D scene from that photograph. Now, none of this, or this is all based on a single still image. You can see we can do quite a lot of very interesting effects here. Now, it's important to note that Nuke's 3D capabilities are not as full-featured or as robust as the 3D dedicated applications such as Maya, 3ds Max, and again, Softimage you'll need to use one of these different 3D applications with Nuke if you want to do any kind of 3D compositing or compositing with many 3D objects. Nuke is very good at compositing 3D with simplified 3D objects, but for complicated things such as characters, you would need a dedicated 3D application. Now that brings us to the question of when do we use Nuke in the production pipeline. So I'm going to jump over to our visual guide to the 3D pipeline and that'll let us see a more visual example of a pipeline. So here we have an example of a 3D pipeline. Now at the beginning we start with things like storyboarding, layout, modeling, animating, uh, environments, layout, uh, rigging, rendering, etc. And compositing is almost always near the end of the pipeline. So after we have everything done in 3D and we have our images shot or rendered out of our sequence or out of our application, we would then br bring all of those layers into our compositor and then uh, render out or write out an image sequence of the finished shot. 
Now, compositing isn't always the last step in a uh, pipeline. We sometimes have other steps after this, usually something like a colorist in a larger film pipeline or an editor, again, in a larger film or television pipeline. So compositing isn't the last step, although it is getting to the almost end of the pipeline when we have our finished images. So now let's open up Nuke and take a look at how we can open up a Nuke script. Now when I said we're going to be opening up a Nuke script, you might have gotten worried because usually scripts are referring to things like programming or code. Well, in the Nuke world, Nuke scripts simply refers to the project files or the scene files that we have inside of Nuke. So to open up a Nuke script, we can go up to File, Open, and that brings up our Script to Open dialog box. And what we've done here is I've just gone to our uh, page, unzipped the project files into my C folder, and the project files have appeared here. So we uh, usually, or almost always, have our project files available for download along with our courses so that you can follow along with exactly what we're working with. So let's open up our Nuke Scripts folder and open up this Nuke Script. And Nuke Scripts will have a .nk extension. So that's important if you're trying to identify what is a Nuke project file. It again has that .nk. And we can click Open, and Nuke will open up a new instance of the application. So this is pretty important to understand about Nuke. Whenever we open up a new project or start a new project or a new script, it's going to open up a copy of the application. So we can see here, if I move this window to the left, I have my old copy of Nuke open as well. And we have to be careful sometimes because we can open up multiple copies of Nuke at the exact same time and cause us to run out of memory or other issues. So just remember that whenever you open up a new Nuke script or a new Nuke project, it sometimes opens up a new instance of the application. Okay, so now that we've got this script open, let's now jump to the next lesson and begin defining the word node and how it works inside of Nuke. So in this lesson, we learned what is Nuke, as well as when in the pipeline do we use Nuke. And finally, we learned how to begin working inside of Nuke by opening up the Nuke project files, which are called Nuke scripts.